You're up, so you shot uh, 15 under to win the tournament by two. You shot three under today, which wasn't nearly as good as your seven under yesterday, so you had some people on your tail. Were you watching the leaderboard and kind of feeling the heat? Uh, I felt the heat, but it was mainly because I thought it was. Just uh, very consistent, very missed it in the right spots. When you're playing with the lead, you kind of do that. I uh, don't have to force anything. And, you know, when you do get some wedges, try to take advantage of it. And I think that, that kind of did that on 15. And, yep, I'm so happy with the way I played. So, so I see this is going to give you some confidence heading into the PJ Championship. Um, How are you feeling now that you've secured this W? I mean, I feel good. I feel a lot better than I did last week. It was, it was, Rounding the corner for me, but uh, like I said earlier, I think in one of the press conferences, just the results weren't there. I felt like it was it was improving, but it just wasn't the results weren't there. So it's nice to see some some results and all the hard work's kind of paying off. So what are you going to do between now and the major to keep your form? Got to do my normal routine, just work out, play golf, and then relax. And how special was it to have Jenna and crew there today to greet you first win with crew there? Yes, yeah, yeah, awesome. Uh, you know, it's you know, great to have nice. Like I said earlier in the week, it's. It's been kind of disappointing because he's watched me finish 45th, which is kind of embarrassing. And, you know, it's something I've always kind of dreamed of is having a uh, giant uh, crew there when I win. So, to have here is super special and uh, something I'll never forget. Great. Well, congratulations on your first win of the 2024 season. I'm going to kick it over to Mike. Brooks, you said on TV that you started to see something and kind of ended up going into Adelaide. What exactly did you say? Uh, just ball striking, I think, was starting to round the corner. Uh, I was starting to see it come out the right window. Um, if I don't see it come out the right window, I expect kind of struggle. Uh, but it was nice to see it start where I wanted it, and the ball was kind of moving in the right direction. I kind of didn't know whether it was going to fade or draw for about a month there. But it, I just got in a bad habit. It's all, it's all the same thing. We just got to go back to the basics with me. And, you know, playing in the window all year, the ball just kind of got moved back, and that was about it. So I kind of really hard on Claude and Ricky to really just pay attention to the fundamental stuff. And you referenced the Masters results a couple of times this week. Obviously, you've got nothing to prove out here with the, with the five majors and who knows how many more. But internally, do you feel like sometimes you need a chip on your shoulder to a certain degree? A lot of the... The great athletes seem to some seem to need that for maybe a bit of a motivation. It's all internal. Uh, sometimes I can make it external, but it's all internal to me. I, like that. I don't enjoy playing good or playing bad. And it's not fun for me. And I know they kind of punished. I got I got punished punishment workouts all all through Adelaide and this week just because of the way I played. So I uh, correct that and don't have to run that many miles and, and sweat my ass off. And were you aware during the round itself, kind of how? Some of the guys were kind of being at your heels. I don't know how much you were looking at the at the leaderboard, but you always seem to to come up with the clutch uh, par save or whatever just to maintain the lead. They never actually caught. Uh, I yeah. watch it all the time. I, to me, it doesn't make any difference. I'm still doing what I got to do or focusing on what I need to focus on. Like if somebody goes out and, and beats me, and I have no problem with losing if I get flat out beat. That doesn't bug me, but. Um, like I said, just kind of using it for, for the last cycle prep for, for the PGI. Yeah, thanks. You can go ahead. Brooks, do you, uh, do you feel that you play better under pressure? I mean, I like to think so, but I don't know what, I mean, I think when there's more on the line, it's more, more enjoyable and it actually feels like real golf. So nobody wants to be out competing on a Sunday when you're done at the 45th. It's just, uh, going to go at everything, you know, the lower round, but, uh, being in contention kind of gets, it gets to be a little bit more fun and I think what, what guys are used to. Uh, on the last hole, uh, when you first uh, chipped from, uh, from the, uh, you were going to, to the green and it was quite a long but what was going through your mind then when you were going for a birdie? Just, uh, well, I actually didn't realize I thought I had to make the last one for our team to finish third, so. I was kind of disappointed the first one, just kind of bumped the first putt, um, just bumped in the fringe and bumped right, so he kind of has no chance, but I didn't realize that uh, Adrian's putt took them ahead of us, I still thought I'd make it for our team, so I'm in that, but I uh, look, guys are battling, so uh, things like that. Great, anyone else? One more? No? Sorry, one more in the back. Thanks. Now that you won here and going into a major, would you be comfortable with the expectations raised? Or, I mean, what would, what would make you comfortable going into a major? I mean, the winning always helps, but I still have the same expectations every time I go tee it up. So that's, those are my expectations. What I want to do, one, one result doesn't mean, doesn't mean anything. 
really fit in the skin of things for two weeks a lot can change. Yeah, it so. does help, but at the same time, uh, I've seen guys miss cuts and then go in and then win and then not complete the week after. Uh, so. Great. Any others? Well, uh, Great. Um, one more. Kim, okay. congratulations. You know, earlier this week you mentioned how much you like to win in mm-hmm. win one major title enough, but you've done back to back majors twice and now you're going in for a third one. You know, what, what do you think gives you that winning? Yeah, I mean, I think iron play is a, is a huge part of that. I think I'm a good ball striker. Um, I seem to make, and I, yeah. I'm pretty good inside AP, I feel like. Um, uh, normally, it's the uh, major clutch, but I feel like I, I do make it, and, but I think the big thing that kind of separates me is just my, my ability to lock in and go someplace where I, I think a lot of guys can't go. Okay, last call. Okay, great. Thank Thanks. you, Brooks. Congratulations.